<laughs> hey, how's it going? I'm Charlie. I'm Jean. Thanks for tuning in to Multicasking. Thank uh, you. Jean. What? We went to uh, Total Wine. Total Wine, if you've never been, Total Wine and more. Shout there out to you guys. Uh, they have a bunch of little sample bottles, which I we bought. I love the little fellas. This is today Oregon Spirit Wheat. This is a straight American wheat whiskey. This has a mash bill of 74% wheat, 18% rye, and 8% of barley. Not malted mm. barley, just barley. I have a question. What's your question, Miss Jean? And maybe you don't even know, I bet you don't. I don't. But maybe somebody watching knows. Yeah, what's up? Is this little guy gonna be like the same as the neck pour? Oh, I actually or thought about that. I think it is, yeah. Is it gonna be nope. different than the neck pour? I bet this, and it's funny you should mention that. Uh, shout out to Nancy Fraley. Nancy Fraley, we reviewed a uh, Indian whiskey she did, mm -hmm. and she went on that episode. She commented and said, hey, because we talked about the neck pour on that. She goes, I absolutely firmly believe the neck pour, don't judge a whiskey off a neck pour. So shout out to Nancy Fraley for agreeing with us that the neck pour is, I wouldn't say trash, but it's usually it's, inferior. It's not, it doesn't actually represent the whiskey, I don't think. No. I would say that. And I, I would like to know if what we're doing now, if this is the neck pour or these little guys, I don't does know. that exist? Cause it's just a little teeny neck. Oh well, yeah, it's just it's simple just bottle. A tiny neck. So if you are, oh, I see what you're saying about the actual neck pour. I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. um, now, if you're some of this, okay. Now you gotta be confused. I would Yay! say because it's a small bottle. Yes, I instantly need your to agree with you. But you're right. Scientifically, I would assume that this is like any other bottle, and the neck pour is the weakest pour with a tiny neck. I don't know. That's a great, that's a great scientific know. question. I don't either. So legit. So, I mean, we don't ever uh, do these little guys, but we are, we're going to, we decided we're going to get yeah. into doing these little guys instead of getting the big bottles because just, I don't know. I like these little fellers. <laughs> no, that's They're the, just the cutest little things. <laughs> at the end of the video, we will tell you what a normal 750 bottle costs. Mm -hmm. uh, but what are, you, what are you getting on the nose there, Gene? Maury. Oh, thumbs up uh, if you like us, thumbs down if you don't. And subscribe to the channel. We're creeping up on a thousand subscribers. Are we now? Yeah, 940 as of today. So yeah, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you. Do you want to know what this is? What is it, Gene? This is a piece of toasted wheat bread. On top of that toasted wheat bread, perfectly toasted, I must say. Look at you. I have. I'm melting some cherry. Some cherry butter spread is melting into that wheat toast. I'm going to give you a note I've never had before, Jean. Oh, yeah? I'm going to give you the bread, but you know what? This, this is not the bread. This is the empty plastic bread bag. Huh. I don't know how else to describe that. That is, it's a pleasant nose. I actually don't, well, I'll probably get wheat on this blind. It's not 100% wheat. I think the rice spice it's so prevalent that I'm getting a little bit Did you say of, rye? You're getting rye or wheat? Well, it's wheated, but it's got rye. It's 18% rye. Oh, I didn't care. So, that. yeah. So, the rye is on the nose for me. The rye spice, like it's a mixture of rye bread in there as well. Oh. Are you getting the cherry? Because I'm getting the heavy cherries. <laughs> See, there is a predominant fruit note in there. I'm not... Pumpernickel as well. I want to say pumpernickel. No, I'm getting a pumpernickel bread. I don't even know what that is. It's a unique bread. That's that's the most predominant note I'm getting. Oregon. I've never heard of this. Oregon Spirits. Of this distillery. Yeah, Oregon Spirits. They're they hail from Oregon. Do they now? Yeah. Huh. I bet they don't. <laughs> Wouldn't that be ironic? No, they do because they uh, they take they, on their website. Great website, by the way. They give their mash bills. They give their age. They give their price. Whole nine yards. But they take pride in their Oregon grain. They use all the grain from the states huh. from the state. I'm gonna go in. Have a good one. I'm perplexed by the nose. I can nose this for another 30 minutes. You know, you get a dram like that where you're like, ah, I need to dive more into this nose. There, there are many other notes here that I, I don't have time to tell you. Did you say what the ABV is? 45% ABV, look at you. 90 proof. Oh, and this is the wheat, so this is five years old. Hmm. You're doing a second drink already. Right? I am, I, I am. That tells me it's lackluster. Well? No. It is, I get the wheat, I get the wheat, but what I was, I, it's smooth. It doesn't drink like a 45, it drinks more like a 40, I think. Maybe 45, now that I get my second one in there. 
But I still get the cherries. I guess, what? What are you doing? I'm letting you finish. I still get cherries on my palate. I'm, that cherry mm -hmm. is just soaking into my tongue. I get, predominantly, it, this is a cherry for me. So, makes no sense, but picture this in your mind's eye, Gene. Two pieces of wheat bread, not uh -huh. toast, and in the center for the, 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 the sandwich mm -hmm. is a brownie batter. I get, you're eating a brownie, brownie batter sandwich, which is a weird. We're completely different on this. Mm -hmm. I get that maybe my, my nose is a little stuffed up. It's allergy season for me, although it's always allergy season for me. Ooh, okay. A little youth there, a little, got a little moonshine there for some reason. That could be the wheat coming through a little bit. Sometimes I get that on even an age, really old aged wheat, oh, 12 year old wheat. I'll get that sometimes. Hmm. I get that grainy, it tastes grainy to me. Yeah. Um, I guess that's the wheat. I'm gonna taste yours. I just won't get water yet. We got the same nut, well. I have a better nose than you do. Mm. Yours is a little different. Maybe this neck pour thing is still a neck pour thing. Yours is, drinks a little hotter. Yours has more vanilla in it than mine does. Mm, a vanilla ginger. Mm -hmm. Ginger. That's what it is. Boom, ginger. Get Nailed it. Ginger. Nailed it with the ginger. I'm nailing it. Nail it, Gene. Get I'm, out your hammer and nail I'm things. Nailing it. Boom, boom, boom. Weirdo. I'm not all that weird. I think you're the weirder one. Not all that weird? Yeah. And weirder is a word. I just I just said it. Weirder er er er. Like dumb and dumber er er. Mm-hmm. Now that you said vanilla, I'm getting vanilla yeah. everywhere. Ginger, I think you nailed it with a ginger. Yeah. This is ginger heavy. It is a lot of ginger. Get some ginger up in here. Yep. Professor Ann, Mary Ann. Gillian's out. If you've had Oregon spirits, what'd you think of it? Which one did you have? Um, the water didn't really change too much for me. It, it did tame down that cherryness, made it a little bit more smoother, some butter in there. No, you're doing price. I'm Sorry. not doing price. Score. Ooh. I am doing score. This is much better with water. Look at you go. Peppermint. It ramps up the flavor. Robust umami notes there now. Now it's now, it's a rye bread. It's now a wheat toast and wheat Rye toast, toast. I'll toast to that. Ooh, yeah, this adds a, bo a full body to it. I like it with water. Good job. Erase my previousness. Where's my, I should have a marker that marks stuff. I wonder where it went. You wanna borrow mine, Gene? It's like you were borrowing mine the whole time. Uh, well, I, I didn't even- I yours out there somewhere. I didn't even thought about a score. Um, I bet you did at 86. I'm going to do an 87. What'd you do? I also did an 87. Did you? Why, why, is your, why is your guy sad? No, he's, he's, he's smirking. You look like Calvin and Hobbes. Look, he's smirking. That's actually a pretty good Calvin and Hobbes. If Calvin, Calvin and Hobbes is a smirk, snowman. He's smirking at the 7. I don't like that marker. It's too thin. Um, This goes for, this is the wheat. So this goes for... Forty-eight dollars, Gene. Is it worth to you forty-eight doll hairs? Um, ooh, I think it is slightly high. Here's I, why. I think 40, 45. So yeah, forty-eight. <laughs> Same. It's worth forty-seven, <laughs> not worth forty-six. Uh, I don't know. I think. I think. I'm gonna go back to when we started. I think the neck pour. I think it's gonna be the neck pour. I think if we let this open up, or yeah. if we had a larger bottle, yeah, that's probably true. I think we better. I think with water, it opened up. I'm, uh, I'm saying inconclusive. I don't hate the price. I'm saying inconclusive. Um, well, you can't say that. You have to. This is the show. This is what we do. You have to give an answer. I gave an answer. My answer was inconclusive. <laughs> okay. All right. I, say, I don't hate the price. I was. It's not a hell no. It's an 87. Well, okay. For five, the next five year old wheat. For the next ones of these guys, I think we should. We should do um, a large full size bottle. Well, this fun fact: this is not available in our market. Well, we have not seen it at our. I've not seen it. No. Which is why we got a sample of it. Yeah. Um, anything else left to add, Gene? No. Yeah. I'm Charlie. I'm Gene, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. Damn! I drank all my whiskey. <laughs> I had a drop left.